Hey guys, what's going on? Greenville Gear. Uh, appreciate you tuning in as always. Um, I have some cars to show you and these are all um, T206s. And um, I'm really excited to show them. Some of them I've had a while and been waiting to kind of do a T206 video to show you. Um, it's probably one of the things that I like collecting the most and I've been doing it um, for a while, that's for sure. Um, so... Um, anyway, check out some of the old videos that I have of, of some old T206 pickups and stuff, and you can see some of the Hall of Fame cards and stuff that I've picked up in the past. Um, but let me show you some of the ones that I picked up. I think I've got I've got five five T206 cards um, to show you. This one I picked up this summer, and I set it aside because I didn't um, want to do a video until I had some other T206 to show. But this is a 1909 uh, Sweet Cap Lee Tannehill. Um, Nice color on that one. Um, it's an SGC 3.5, which is kind of in my wheelhouse. I try to do 2.5 or better. And in terms of the grade, it's a sweet cap back. Tannehill has a interesting distinction, like sort of as a trivia footnote. He's the only shortstop. Uh, in baseball history to have two unassisted double plays in the same game. So, kind of an interesting character. Anyway, that's the 3.5 Lee Tannehill. Like I said, I've had this probably since July or August. But I set that one aside because um, I wanted to show it to you with some other T206s. So, I in really enjoy picking up um, these t206 buybacks and um some of you a lot of you probably know about this but it's partly what got me back into collecting or collecting t206 in the first place when tops did this in 2002 2003 but they would randomly insert of course um t206 cards that they had bought back and then they inserted them into these um holders um obviously this is in a one touch but then they put it in this kind of encasement in cardboard with a with a thin piece of plastic over it. I just thought it was so cool. And when I hit one of these, that just kind of gave me the bug. So that's how it all started. Anyway, I've always been on the lookout for buybacks. And you've got to be a little careful because I think there's some nefarious folks, um, not necessarily in the hobby community, but just trying to rip people off that um, have figured out a way to... Um, basically create counterfeit cases and then just, you know, throwing these back in and, and trying to make it look like a buyback, um, but it wasn't really one from tops. So long story short, um, I'm always on the lookout for these. And so um, I got a few. And so um, I'll start with this one. This is Ollie Pickering. Um, Minneapolis, nice portrait. Um, I really like portraits. They're probably my favorite T206 cards to pick up. This is also a sweet cap back. Um, so anyway, grab that one. Uh, Pickering is kind of an interesting character. Um, another footnote, the first batter that appeared in the new American league in 1901. So that's his claim to fame. So that was the first one I picked up and I do like putting these into these, um, ultra pearl one touches. They kind of seem perfect for these buybacks. So I kind of do that and that's how I store them. Um, the second one I picked up is this one here. Um, this is Jake Weimer. So it is another uh, portrait. Nice green color. Sorry about the glare a little bit there. Um, pretty good pitcher. Um, got 20 wins in 1906. All-time record was 97 and 69. But he kind of peaked quickly and, and then kind of faded away. But I thought that was a great one. So Jake Weimer. And then the last one I picked up, um, I've got one more slab to show you, is this one. This is Red Kleinow. Um, long career as a kind of backup catcher. Um, never really famous as a hitter um, for sure, but um, still is in the T206 set. And so um, I grabbed this one, and this is a Piedmont back. So that's Red Kleinow. So I picked up three more um, 
of the buybacks. And I think I probably have 8, 10, 12, something like that already. So that's really kind of fun. And then now I've got this one, which is the SGC uh, 3.5. Well, I've got one more slab to show you. Um, and it's a card I used to have. And um, it was in a PSA slab. And I think I had it as a 4.5. Um, and I, I thought it was kind of overgraded. And, and um, so I sold it. Um, and I've always kind of had my eye out for this card to kind of replace it. And so I picked this one up. This is a Charlie Star from Boston. And this is a Piedmont back. And it got, and this is interesting, this is one of these GAI slabs. It got a GAI 3. So I'm not entirely sure what I will do with this, but I kind of think that I will correct this one out, and if I do an SGC order again, that I'll submit that just for consistency to get it uh, in an SGC slab uh, and have a, a little more reputable uh, company, especially on the pre-war vintage, uh, take a look at it. So I think that's probably what I will do with this card, but it was a good price on a, on a GAI 3, and um, the card itself looks pretty decent. Um, obviously got some worn corners and stuff, but Decent centering and all that. So a little bit of fading on the back. So it'll be interesting to see what SGC gives it. But um, I'm happy to have it uh, back in my collection. Uh, and that's that. So those are my kind of recent, since this summer, into the fall, T206 pickups. I'm trying to like kind of get myself almost on a schedule so that I never lose sight of my T206 collection. Like try to get a T206 every month or two and, and keep building the collection. So Thanks as always for um, tuning in. I've got, I'll do a soccer video. I've got some cards that have come in and um, some other stuff to show you. So um, stay tuned and thanks as always um, for watching. Okay, see ya. Bye.